Hey friends, welcome back to Civil Engineering Mastery. In this video, we are going to discuss how we can analyze the slab with wall load. So when you take a slab like this, in this slab there is a wall on the middle area. Generally, we provide beams to support the walls which is coming above. But in this case, when we have a wall which is resting on the slab, but below the wall, you are not supposed to provide the beam because of the aesthetic purpose. So in that case, how we can analyze the slab with the wall load? Let me show you the architectural drawing for your clear understanding. We have the living area over here. In this living area, there is no beam. There is no wall above the living area. There is no wall above the living area. Suppose if we provide the wall above the living area like this, in this case, we cannot provide the beam under the wall because that affects the aesthetics of the living area because because the client want the living area to be clear without any beams so in this case how we can analyze the slab so that is what we are going to discuss in this video we are going to analyze this slab with the wall load by using star pro connect edition so without further delay let's begin now let's start modeling the slab in the x direction taking 6 meter then let's copy this and then give control c control v in the z direction taking minus 5 meter give ok and then we can add beam by using the add beam cursor like this we have the slab now this is 6 meter and this is 5 meter next let's add the member properties go to specifications and here we can give define so first we have to define the beams all around the periphery let's add the beam depth as 0.6 and the width of the beam as 0.23 230 by 600 give add and then we can give assign to view option so it is assigned next let's add the thickness we are going to add the plate i'm going giving 150 mm plate thickness that is property also here I am adding here so that property also I am adding next let's go to the geometry and then add plate you can just draw the plate like this and then we can do the meshing so for that you have to go to select plate cursor and then just right click over here create right click over here generate plate mess quadrilateral meshing and then here we can give 5 meter length we can divide into 25 because i'm dividing the aspect ratio as 0.2 because 25 divisions we can give here the aspect ratio i'm taking as 0.2 because the wall thickness the wall which is resting on the slab has the 200 mm thickness so that that is why I am taking the aspect ratio as 0.2 so that it will be easy for you to apply the load on the particular strip. 6 meter length I am adding and dividing into 30 parts so that you will get a single part size as 0.2 by 0.2. So now if you measure the distance you will be getting the size as 0.2, 0.2. All the mesh size as 0.2. Next we can assign the support conditions, go to support, create, print, add, and you can select all these four corners and then give assign. We have assigned the support, member properties also done, member properties for the plates we have to add. So go to properties, select the plate thickness, select all the, sorry. So you have to go to select and then take the plate cursor, select all the plates and then give assign. So plate thickness has been assigned now. Next go to loading. Here under loading detail we can add the load case as dead load. Give add and load case 2 as live load. Give add. Under dead load we can add the self weight give add and then after that we can add the plate load before adding the load 
let's have a quick glimpse of the loading details first one is dead load under dead load we have self weight floor finish load and then wall load we can apply as a intensity of udl that is pressure pressure on that particular strip we can apply so here floor finish load i am considering as 1 kN per meter square and then intensity of udl we can consider 3 meter is the floor height and 7 is the unit weight of aac block that is the lightweight block which is available in the market by using that, that kind of lightweight material we can reduce the dead weight of the structure and then light load is 2 kN per meter square so we are going to apply the floor finish load 1 kN per meter square on the entire area of the slab and then this wall load we are going to apply on only this particular strip and light load is the entire area of the slab self weight self weight will be taken by the star flow software itself we need to just assign the self weight load that's it we have added the self weight load next let's add the plate load under plate load let's add minus 1 kN per meter squared as the floor finish load and then again let's add 21 kN per meter squared as the wall load on the strip next we can add the light load that is minus 2 kN per meter square let's select all the beams and then assign the self weight next we have to go to select and then take the plate cursor select all the plates and then assign now if you select the self weight command it should be highlighted that means the self weight has been taken next let's select the plate cursor select all the plates and then let's assign this one assign to selected plates let's apply around 4.2 meter distance let in this strip let's apply the wall load we are just taking the wall uh, is resting on this we are just considering the wall is resting on this particular strip let's apply the wall load over here so we have to take the plate cursor and then select these strip plates to select this load and then assign to selected plates so that the wall load has been applied over here and then next light load select all the plates and then assign to selected plates so we are complete we have completed the load next let's assign the load combination next let's add the load combination go to command editor start command editor file so here we can add the load combination by using this editor file load combination and then load cmd load com 3 that is one times dead load plus live load 1 1.0 2 1.0 next load com 4 that is 1.5 times dead load plus live load 1 1.5 to 1.0 and close to so check here the load combination has been added 1 times dead load plus live load and 1.5 times dead load plus live load now we can go to the analysis and then give all perform analysis all Close and then we can give the run analysis command. We don't have any errors and warnings. Just click on this. Now let's go to post processing mode. Check the stress contour. Right click structural diagram. Plate stress contour. Here we can select 1.5 times dead load plus live load. Stress type we can select M Y local and then apply. So this is the stress contour. So we are getting 14.6 as the maximum one at this point midpoint. So for this moment, we can design the slab. Next, let's select the deflection. Just measure over here. It is up to four four meters. We have taken up to 4.2 meter. So the uh, wall load has been applied on this strip. So just double click on this. Select the plate cursor. Double click on this. Plate. We are getting this window. 
and here you can uh, here you can select stresses and displacement so just select one times dead load plus live load because the, this deflection we are going to check for the serviceability load combination so if you see here we get the deflection up to 3 mm so for this plate so we can if you select this one it is getting changed you can see the deflection how much we are getting maximum we are getting the nearby plates around 6 7 mm so in this way you can check the deflection so friends i hope you all like this video please do comment in the comment box if you have any queries your comments are always welcome and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more videos thank you for watching